So these are two very interesting robots. Uh, what we call it looks like a dog. This is a small dog. We can walk and stand and uh, have different actions. The application for this dog is, for example, uh, blind people. Uh, we have dogs to guide them, but the dogs is take a long time to train and very limited. So we can use the robot to do the things. This is a little guy that can help children who suffer from autism. So you can basically pat. The robot, okay, being defensive, right? If you pat the arm. So what's the whole point of that? So uh, this little uh, robot actually can do uh, a lot of things. Uh, it will analyze the behavior, the uh, uh, facial expression of the kids, and trying to analyze whether this kid may or may not suffer this uh, autism. Mm. Then it can be used as an interactive uh, uh, partner. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, AI has been applied to prevention and control measures. This door access system can detect your body temperature and whether or not you have a mask on. But if you don't, it won't let you in. Actually, the door system comes from your company, Jane. So at least it's being applied to your office. Right, yeah. Um, actually, we are uh, trying it by ourselves. We didn't start think about to combine the temperature measurement with the door system, but after the um, COVID-19 exposure so out of Staten, we just realized that we need some product like that. So we combined it and we swiftly launched a very effective product of it. So we're here in a part of Shenzhen known as Hua Chang Bay. And for anyone working in the tech industry and hardware, they'll know that this Huachang Bay area of Shenzhen is the hardware capital of the world. Any parts, any circuits, uh, any sort of pieces that go into your phone, that can all be found here, be it broken, uh, be it secondhand used. At Huawei promised that we will never touch the customer's data because we are just focused on the communication technologies. So we just like building the, the connection. Okay, so we, are, we were just like building the, the tube. Yeah, so for, for those data inside, we are not touching them. Obstacles within a business environment are common realities for many startups, especially those in China. Shenzhen, however, which is set to celebrate 40 years as a special economic zone, still has a lot to offer. What I see about Silicon Valley United States is a, a lot of talent that's actually from the global. And, um, and for example, in Hong Kong, it's still more internationalized and more global and all. Right. And I hope uh, and someday, uh, really soon, uh, Shenzhen will be in that way as well. We see that the artificial intelligence has certainly take much of the social responsibility. Yes, def definitely. I think all the technologies we developed so far uh, is all should be uh, benefit the whole society, the, the whole mankind. Uh, and I think the space uh, for us to develop new products, new technologies in AI space is, is, is tremendous.